So the other thing I said I would show you is how to put on the ridge board um, and kind of the frame for the roof. So what you would do is go to your 3D view and down here in this bar at the bottom uh, in the visual style I would go to hidden line and that gives you that grey texture so it's kind of easier to look at. Um, and I would go to coarse texture as well. So it's just easier to see. And then I would select the roof and go to these glasses and say I select category. So you're just looking at the roof. You have to do this for each section of roof that you have. So once you have done that, the next thing you have to do is go to structure and beam. And as I said before, um, if you don't have your timber beams ready loaded in, then you need to go to your libraries and go to structural framing and go to wood and then you can choose from the options that are there. So I'm just going to choose that one and load it on and then you can see here that I have a choice. And again, you can edit type and you can change what you want the, the dimensions of that to be to set your truss. So once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is just go to pick lines. So a couple of things. In the properties, make sure that your Z, um, Z justification is set to origin, not anywhere else. And up here you can choose which plane you're placing it on. So I'm going to do it from the level two, which would be my roof level. And then you're just going to start picking lines. And so also make sure that your reference level here, there's no constraints on it. Um, and just up here is where you can choose kind of what plane you're working on. So then you would just start picking the lines. So you can see there, you can see the the, uh, the members being or the beams being added. Sorry, same thing on that side. Uh, do the top and do the side, the side, and something like so. And so then you get kind of this uh, structural, like a frame, basically. And so I've just changed back to consistent colors down here so I can show you what we've added. So you can see the ridge board here that's been added and these other supporting timbers. And obviously by looking at it, you know, it's not right because the roof, you know, is sitting below it and, you know, it's a bit above your truss and that. So it just takes a bit of maneuvering about to get everything to match up then. Um, so, you know, you can move these two down to kind of meet your truss, or you don't necessarily need them at all, actually, but it's your ridge board that we're more concerned about having on. So, let me just hide these. So, you can see there, there's your ridge board added, and move that um, up or down as you like, you know, to sit, I think it should pop up to my clock. Nice. And you could also move your roof up, you know, so it's just a matter of bringing this down to meet the top of your trusses and moving your roof up on top of all of that then. So, and I've just had the roof there so you can see better what you're working with then. And it's really as simple as staying in your 3D view and you can go to your right view and you can just use the arrow keys on your keypad to move it up and down. I'm just going to hide 
these as well. You know, something like that. So it's fairly easy once you once you get them on. It's just a matter of tidying them all up, so they so they look better. And for these ones here at the side, um, you can actually create wall plates from them. So if you you want it to be your truss to be kind of sitting on top of your wall plates on the wall. So if you do that um, and you move it over to the top of your wall, you can change the rotation of it over here in cross section rotation uh, to 90 degrees. So in your properties, you can do cross section rotation and you can type in 90 and that will flip it. And then you can just move it as you need to uh, sit on top of the wall. And your truss off sale sit on top of that then. So that's kind of the things you would need in terms of having your ridge board and your battens. And again, if anything's out, sticking out, you can just uh, trim them back. So any issues with that, just leave them on the discussion board and I can try and help you then.